Hey, it's Carol with Crystals and Chai. So, some of you who are following me know I'm an energy healer and I'm a witch. And I just did a video not that long ago about um, my name change. Some of you know my nickname was Carrie and my birth name is Carol and I've gone by my birth name now for a few years which has been very liberating. Um, I was born Carol. My dad named me Carol and then my mom and dad got divorced when I was about three and then my dad, my mom just said, okay, your name is Carrie because it's a pen name for Carol and that's what I was called all my life. So that's that in a nutshell. Fast forward till I'm 50 some years old because now I'm 53 it happened a couple years ago. I went through a ceremony and went back to Carol. If you followed all that. If you look through some of my inner, my healing journey videos, you'll see. <laughs> but one thing, the witch part of me, I, when I did the ceremony, I said, anyone who is not for my greatest good, I may meet them, I may talk to them, and I may lose some people for how I change in my own energies but only people who are there for my greatest good shall stay in my life. And I meet people. I'll talk to them. I have my own business. Obviously, this is my business. Um, Crystals and Chai. But I will meet people, exchange phone numbers, whatever about my business, you name it. And then nothing. Or I'll be around somebody and it's like the end my energy field or whatever you might call it it's like they're repelled if I meet someone I give them a number I'll never hear from them again there's a few people very very precious I keep my circle very small that I call them my soul sisters or my soul brother I don't have any soul brothers yet but I have soul sisters and you know who you are um, yeah, I basically put this witchy circle around myself and said no energy will come that will hurt me like I have ever been hurt again. And boy, has it worked. Has anybody ever done that? They just put that circle around them that says no one will interrupt my energies. No one will hurt my energies. The empathic part doesn't quite keep, like I went move, I, we were our full-time RVers and we recently went from the coast inland and let me tell you I, this is a whole other thing energy bubble okay so it's one thing to walk into a room and have people kind of repelled like they're not going to talk to me because I my energy is improved or if I meet someone and my energy is kind of feeling their energy and I realize oh I'm not gonna they're not gonna be I'm not gonna talk to them again because my energy doesn't allow that kind of energy I think I may have done it a little too well though because now when I meet people I don't know what it is maybe they look at me they talk to me but they don't really inside they're like how do I get away from this person and then they just don't talk to me again or they can relate but maybe I'm just not their cup of tea after all speaking of tea on a side note, my husband bought me this. Isn't it just adorable? Enjoy the little things, and I most certainly do. <laughs> I just realized the lighting is sometimes better or not. Like I said, full-time RVer. This is my living room. But I just, has anybody else, leave a, leave a comment, has anyone else experienced that? Like the energy when you've made changes in your, in your vibes? Has anyone else done that? Because as soon as I changed my name from change my name back to Carol and I put that little bond in there put that little something in there the energy when it got changed I'm like only positive good love and light if you're not for the greatest of good I put that for my spirit realm too if you are not from the greatest of good leave me the leave me alone so I'm wondering if I did a little bit too well and if I did it's all good because I don't want people who are not for my greater good to be in my life and if I met you 
and we had a good conversation. We exchanged numbers or whatever because you're a fellow witch or you're a fellow light worker or a Reiki or whatever. Or you just love jewelry because I make jewelry. Side note, I'm my Moldavite. I wire wrap my Moldavite. There goes the lighting. But yeah, I made the Moldavite wire wrap there. Of course, I didn't make the Moldavite. It's a meteor. <laughs> but anyway. Um, anywho. Yes, I did just kind of lose track. I said, no, this is not scripted. But if you have experienced doing changes in your life and that means you've lost people that you didn't know would affect realizing they're not what should be in your life let me know leave a comment I'd love to connect with people that would like to be friends um, just trying to figure it all out I don't know why I'm trying to figure it out it just seems to me I need to figure it out And if you've gotten this far, thank you for listening. And if you've gone to the same thing, leave a comment. But I think I'll leave that at that for now. Have a fantastic day. And may you have a lot of love and light. Thanks for watching.